Thank you very much for your time with us on our YouTube channel. Where are you from? I'm from Australia. Australia, which part or which city of Australia? Uh, South Australia. Are you here as a tourist? As a tourist time? at the moment, yeah. Oh. And uh, is this first time in Japan? This is my third time over in Japan. Oh, okay. So uh, did you say you live in Japan? No, 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 no just no. here on holiday. Yeah, on holiday. When was your first time then? My first time was in 2016. Uh, at that time, what brought you to Japan? Uh, that was for a music tour, actually. Music tour? Yeah. You're a musician? Uh, yeah, in a jazz band. Oh, that's nice. What do you play? Uh, bass guitar. Bass guitar. Which city did you go? Started in Osaka, uh -huh. headed up to Sendai, Sendai, and then worked our way down through Tokyo to Hiroshima, and then flew out back to home. Wow. So it's a Japan tour or Asian tour? Or that was just tour? a Japan tour. Oh. Just for two weeks. Oh, I see. So the second time also like a second Japan time tour? Second time last or? year was for a ski trip, snowboarding near Tanagano, uh -huh. it's a town called Nozawa Onsen, mm -hmm. and then I've just been in Hakuba until about a week ago. Oh, okay. So you're a big ski fan? Or yeah. I don't know, ski? Yeah, the snow is really good here. Do you go to other countries to ski too? Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, there's some skiing in Australia, but down south New Zealand, or mm -hmm. I spend a lot of time in Europe when I can in Austria and Switzerland. But uh, comparing those uh, countries, how is the snow in Japan? The snow quality is better here. It's better? Yeah, it's cheaper to ski here. Uh, the resorts are not as big and they're quieter. The oh. Japanese resorts have a different attitude to going off pace compared to Europe, mainly because of, I think, safety concerns. And oh. that's probably a reason lift passes are a bit cheaper here. Mm. But it's getting better. Uh, Australian tourists are really common in mm. the snow in Japan. So it's starting mm. to become more westernized. Right, right. So you said the resort area is a smaller compared Japan, to other yeah. oh. The mountains are not as high, oh. yeah. and the number of lifts are smaller. It's, there's not as much money oh. in the industry yet to build up infrastructure. Which uh, snow resort is the bigger or the biggest? Or I believe I don't the know. biggest is the combined Hakuba ski area. There's about 10 resorts under one ski pass. And then after that, it would probably be Naseko and then some resorts on Honshu like Nozawa Onsen and Shigeru Kogen. How about in the world? In the world, I it's believe like the, three valleys, the three valleys resorts in France. In France? Whistler Blackcomb in Canada is very big and oh, Saint Anton um, Alberg in Austria. Oh, okay. They're ones that come to mind, but I know there are other big ones. So comparing those areas, Japan is much smaller. Smaller, but uh -huh. cheaper. And I think if you go between different resorts and the snow quality is really good, uh -huh. it doesn't really matter how big the resort is. Oh, okay. How did you enjoy besides skiing in Japan? I think for a Westerner, Japan, Japanese culture is probably the most far removed from Western culture, oh. mainly just because of the way the history is kind of built up and geographically. So it can be really interesting to come here. It's definitely, I've noticed in the last seven years it has become a lot easier to travel for westerners for example you don't need cash as much as you used to more things are available in english and uh, google maps is really useful for getting around there are a lot more australians as well in hostels and hotels and whatnot so it's definitely becoming more social country but i'd say the main thing is the the starkness the safety as well and the ease of getting around how did you spend uh, the time to enjoy like, uh, in Japan? I really enjoy okay. the live music here. Oh. It's very cool. So uh -huh. it's very different. The mainstream music here is definitely, mm. in my opinion, more musical than Western music. And there are really cool live bands. So I was just at a show last night, I think at the, the Bronze Club. And uh, I think a lot of time here is spent probably walking around, going to museums. The food as well oh. is definitely a thing. If I lived here, I would definitely be overweight. Oh. Food is a lot cheaper. And oh. a lot probably better than back home mm. so a good lunch here is probably half the price of what you pay back in Australia. Wow. What kind of food do you like? The Japanese food? Probably can't go wrong with ramen. I probably like more northern foods, the darker flavors when coming here in winter compared to I, I do enjoy seafood but probably heavier meals compared to the lighter stuff we get down here in Osaka so I enjoy sashimi and uh, tempura but my favorite would probably be ramen. Ramen, yeah, it's, yeah, it's really popular. Yeah, yeah, and so you cannot find those food in your in Australia. So I don't actually probably say Australia has got the best Asian food outside of Asia. So Australia Japanese food is really popular. Also Vietnamese food, and Malaysian food, uh -huh. as well as other Southeast Asian countries. Uh -huh. But it's not as good and not as cheap as it's here. So mm -hmm. it's nice to go to a source to experience it properly. I see. Your first time was the the, uh, the music tour. Yes. Uh -huh. And without the tour, do you think you came to Japan? Like, I think I would. Mainly, the main appeal is the skiing. Uh -huh. So it's probably cheaper to fly over to ski here than just to go skiing in Australia uh -huh. for me. 
and the snow quality is really good. I've got my own equipment, so it makes it cheaper and easier to get around. Mm. But I think the main draw is probably safety out of all Southeast Asian, all Asian countries. Mm. Japan is probably the safest and easiest to get around, and the appeal is probably in the difference of the culture. Oh, I see. Have you ever been to other Asian countries? Uh, yes. Oh, which country?、Uh, Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam, and Singapore. Okay, so, so you play music over there?、Uh, no,、people? just on holidays. Oh, I see. And did you feel the difference between those countries and Japan? Yes, definitely. The、oh. Southeast Asian countries I would describe are a lot more chaotic.、Oh. I think it can be difficult as a Westerner, though, getting used to Japan, the level of reservedness you need to hold in public. Compared to being, I guess, more loud and obnoxious, you can be in Southeast Asia. But I definitely say the social pressure has probably reduced in the last six or seven years in Japan in terms of people's understanding of tourists, I guess. So people are, it's, they've always been polite, but they're probably more accepting of different tourists now than they used to be in Japan. Whereas Southeast Asian countries have always been probably easier to get into in that sense. But again, they can be more dangerous and they're harder to get around. Oh. So, people, the foreign people are easier to get into the country in、uh, other Asian countries, you said? Not necessarily into the country, but I think I got the impression six or seven years ago if you were a Westerner,、oh. people on the street could, they were very polite,、oh. but you could tell that you weren't always welcome in a sense. It was、oh. kind of the gaijin mentality. Oh, I but see. But it's getting better now. I'm noticing even like in, at live music events, for example, people、mm. are more open to Western tourists. Oh, I see. In your.、Uh, Uh, local then,、um, music events, there are many Japanese people come? In, back in Australia? Uh-huh. Uh, no, not really. There's not many Australians,、uh, not many Japanese in Australia.、Uh-huh. The biggest Asian populations in Australia would probably be Chinese,、uh-huh. Indian, and maybe Vietnamese.、Uh-huh. Uh, but、mm, I wouldn't say they're massively into the music we play. So the, the,、uh, I'd say the jazz scene over here is quite different and interesting、uh-huh. compared to more the Western scenes. It's、I、definitely、see. more alternative. Well, thank you so much for your time. That's good. Thank yeah, you. it was great talking to you. Thanks. Thank you.、Uh, how are you? It's okay. Okay. It's okay.、Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Taiwan, and my city is Kaohsiung. Actually, I've been to Taiwan before. Oh, just、wow. I've been to Taipei. Yeah. 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 Uh, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because、uh, many Japanese come to Taiwan lately. They go to Taipei. Yeah, yeah.、Uh, are you traveling in Japan now? Uh, yeah, yeah.、Okay. I travel to Japan. Yeah. Why did you decide to visit Japan? Um, actually, Taiwan is very close to Japan,、yeah. and、uh, before this time, I have been to Japan for times, and the、yeah. uh, same time is always on my bucket list. So yeah, I have dreamed about travel to Sentai for. Also long. Okay.、Yeah. What did you do in Japan? Only for sightseeing, and、uh, I stayed here for three days. Yeah, yeah three, three days. days. Yes.、Okay. Yes. Yeah. Only Sentai. Yeah. Only Sentai. Yeah. Okay. Only What impression did you have of Japan before coming? It might be one of biggest difference. Uh,、yeah. when what I see difference in Taiwan、yeah. is um.、Uh, I saw many Japanese girls don't wear glasses, and、uh, they always wear makeup. I think it's a little bit from Taiwan. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just, just my opinion. Okay. Have you traveled、uh, other country, other than Japan? Oh yes. Uh, I uh, actually I've been to many countries in Europe. Oh, you are. Yeah,、okay. yeah. Like、uh, England or France or Germany. But、uh, you know,、uh, from Asia to Europe,、uh, it needs take long time. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, like、uh, almost one day. So this is why I decide to travel. In Japan this time, yeah. Also,、okay. the tickets is a kind of cheap. Yeah. How was UK? Um, UK is amazing. You can there are、um, many different people there. I mean, it is very an、uh, international country. If you would like to to travel there,、mm, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah.、Uh, also, you can. Yeah. Meet a lot of different cuisine there, like、yeah. India or Japanese, Korean, yeah, everything 
you can think about. Okay. Would you like to visit Japan again? Oh, sure. Because uh, I have many buddies in Japan, like uh, Sao Paulo or yeah. and uh, Nagoya. Yeah. Yeah, and. Uh, and the South mm -hmm. Japan. Okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, I can say every every place I would like to travel in Japan. Okay. What do you wanna do uh, like next visiting uh, in Japan? Um, actually, I already booked the flight to Hokkaido in in the end of uh, March. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, yeah. Yeah. This month. I I'm gonna to Hokkaido. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's good. You are going to eat sushi or something? Oh no, because uh, I'm a little bit allergic to seafood, so okay. I can't eat too much of this. How many times did you visit Japan before? I have been to here twice, so this is my third time to be here. Okay. The anime is very popular in yeah. Japan, like cartoon. So yeah. I think if you are really interested in anything about anime, yeah. uh, you can buy so many stuff or merch in Japan. Yeah. 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 Also, the price is cheaper than buying in your origin country. Okay. Uh, before visiting, uh, which places did you come? Oh. Um, I have been to Tokyo because our uh, first time is uh, when I was in elementary school because okay. yeah because my uncle lived in Tokyo so wow. yeah so this is my first time to be yeah. there and the second time is my sister held a wedding in Japan because uh, she loves Japan so much also she studied her month in Tokyo too so that's why she wanted to help Wendy in Japan, so that's my second time to be here. Yeah. Okay. Um, my favorite food could be sushi and okay. ramen. Yeah, so I often eat uh, both, uh, not only in Taiwan, but in Japan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what kind of sushi do you like? Sushi, uh, all the uh, summer. Summer, okay. Uh, yeah, summer, yeah. I think uh, summer or seaweed. Okay, but well, summer is also. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Summer is good. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, yeah, so let's, yeah, let's yeah. eat. Yeah. Okay, have a good flight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah, thank nice. you. Have a good one. <laughs> thank you for your time uh, with us on our YouTube channel. Uh, where are you from? Uh, Brisbane, Australia. Australia? Yeah. Okay. And uh, you're here as a tourist? Yes. Is this your first time in Japan? Uh, my second time. My first time. Oh, okay. Then how do you like it so far? We oh, love it. Love it, yeah. Yeah. Love Japan. Yeah. When was your first time then you uh, came to Japan? 2016. Oh, it's a quite eight years, a couple of yeah. years. At the time, what made you to uh, made you come to Japan? I just heard a lot of good things, and we came in the winter months with a lot of snow, so that was lots of fun. Oh, so you skied or something? Ah, uh, snowboard. And this time also you ski or snowboard? Not this time. Ah, okay. This is your first time. It is, yeah. Yeah. How did you plan this trip? Like, like who wanted to come? Like, said who wants to go right now? The first. I think um, yeah, I've heard lots of good things from friends mm -hmm. and then him as well. And yeah, everyone's just raised about Japan and I thought, yeah, it'd be a great experience to come and visit. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah, see the sights and experience the culture. You have a kind of, uh, certain image about Japan before coming? I think I did, yeah. I think um, based on what I've heard from friends and family, uh -huh. most of, well, everyone had great experiences. They said the people were lovely. Uh -huh. um, all the, I guess, different seasons as well have really great benefits no matter what time of year you come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, I was just really excited to visit. What kind of things uh, were you expected then in Japan? Like what kind of experience or what kind of things you would see or... Based on what I've seen mm -hmm. from uh, photos and stuff. Yeah, so I think most of it was a lot of temples. Uh -huh. um, we went just been to Kyoto, so that was really beautiful. And I'm not too sure. Just 
I yeah, I've seen like lots of beautiful places online, but I didn't oh, really have too many expectations. So, yeah, mm. I was just open minded and sort of come and see what it's about. I think the biggest thing was um, the contrast between like the old temples and castles, and then the skyscrapers and all the modern districts and stuff like that. Uh-huh. It's such a contrast compared to Australia, which is quite a young country, so there's no like castles and stuff around. It's just all skyscrapers. Mm, I see. Have you been to other uh, Asian countries? Uh, yeah, we went to Nepal. Uh, Nepal. Yeah. Under uh, Everest. South of, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. And I went through um, Cambodia and Vietnam. They have three too, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. They got deep history there as well. Did you feel the, uh, the differences between those countries and the Japan? Yes, absolutely. Um, it feels because Japan is like first world country, and then more third world. This feels more advanced, and everything's a lot cleaner and tidier. It's just such a beautiful place, Japan. I'm very glad to hear <laughs> those <laughs> things. But uh, where did you go this time in Japan? Where did you visit? Which city or which part? Um, so we're only on, I think, our sixth day here. We mm-hmm. have stayed in to- uh, Kyoto. Mm-hmm. Um, we did one night in Tokyo and then four nights in Kyoto. Mm. Um, and then, yeah, now we're in Osaka and then we're going to go up to Nagano and then back to Tokyo for oh. about five days. I think. Nice. Is there any like a surprising like experience or culture shock? It's kind of like a detail, like a specific thing do you remember during this trip? I think everything is very clean. Mm-hmm. Um, very Everything is, I think, I don't know, uh, one of the comparisons in Australia, mm-hmm. there can be a lot of graffiti and on the trains especially, a lot of people ruin like the windows um, mm-hmm. with graffiti and just like cutting the glass. Oh. But everything is very clean and tidy here, which is great. Uh-huh. Um, even the streets are very clean and tidy. So yeah, that was love. It's a really good culture shock. Really oh. lovely. One of the things that has been difficult is noticing that most businesses only open at 10 or 11 a.m. Oh, uh-huh. um, whereas in Australia, a lot of places open at 6 a.m. for uh-huh. breakfast. So mm. we've had to navigate that a little bit, yeah. um, figuring out food and stuff. But that's okay. But yeah, it's been a bit different. Oh, I see. Yeah. So you can eat out later, you can eat out early. That yes. kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, Australia, lots of people are up at about 6 or 7 a.m. Um, mm. having breakfast at cafes oh. and things like that. Japan opens late. Yeah, yeah. it does. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. And most things open at like 10 or 11. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. So that's been a bit of a different yeah. um, kind of culture shock as well. The, the most, like a, the chain, like a restaurant or popular, the uh, restaurants opens later. And yes. Like a, the more local cafes and stuff, those, some of them opens earlier and the servicing, like yes. a morning yeah. menu, yeah. but it's maybe difficult for you guys yeah, to, to just enter. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a bit different, but it's fun. Yeah, we, so good. Yeah, we figure it out. Have you tried Japanese food? Um, yeah, yeah, we have tried, well, obviously ramen has been a big one. Uh-huh. Um, we... Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki? Yeah. We're gonna, well, we're gonna have that tonight. Oh, you're tonight. going to. Yes. Um, what did we have last night? Yakitori. Oh, yakitori last night, yakitori. I think. Yeah. That was delicious. Yeah, we're gonna look for those sandwiches with the strawberry inside. Oh. Well, we're gonna go find those soon. Uh, <laughs> like a sweet. Yeah. yeah. And lots of mochi as well. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah. So we're still going to try lots of new things as well. Mm. Um, I've tried a few things so far. Can you find those Japanese things in, uh, around your neighborhood? Ramen is very common in Australia, but the other ones not so much. Mm. Mm. All the other things are a bit harder to find. But... Probably those sweets are very the, special. The, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, the sweet food items here are very, very uh, different to Australia. Yes. Yeah, so it's very special to try the different sweet things. Yeah. Is there any like Japanese things if you like to bring back to your country if possible? Like uh, in, any impossible things is okay, you know, tangible and intangible doesn't matter. We've already, I mean, in terms of tangible mm. things, we've already purchased a few uh, gifts okay. here and there and yeah. um, some items that remind okay. us of each place uh, that we've been. Mm. Have you ever been to a hundred yen shop? No. We walked past one the other day, oh, yeah. but we didn't go inside. I think we're oh, on yeah. in, in a hurry to get to the different uh. shrines. Do you guys have those kind of store in Australia? Like yeah. a one coin or I don't know. The, you know. Yeah. They used to be one dollar shops. Right. But it's kind of cheap. They're, more, they're still cheap shops, but sometimes it's like five dollars or ten dollars. So they uh-huh. say they're a two dollar store, but they're a bit more expensive these days. Uh-huh. 
in Japan, there, there are many like 100 yen shops. Mm. They sell like uh, 300 yen or, you know, not only 100 yeah, yeah. Yes. yen, but uh, yeah. I think they have really huge variety of things and very interesting things. Okay. So I recommend you to okay, go. We'll talk about I think it's a free, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's a developing year than it is uh, because uh, many like a household, like moms, gives the idea to the like a companies or manufacturer right. yeah. and that they make it like a what do you call it commercializing those uh, things okay. and so it's a really cheap but useful things yeah. you might be able to find okay cool <laughs> okay. yeah I'll that definitely sounds check good. that out uh -huh. Thank you for that. So you're going to Nagano mm. and Tokyo. Yes. Uh, do you have any uh, plan to those areas? Uh, we're going to go see the snow monkeys oh. up in Nagano, the ones that are in the onsen. Uh -huh. Ah, onsen. Yeah, and then in Tokyo, we're going to go to Disney and stuff like ah. that. We're going to do a day trip to Nafuji, um, and oh. we're going to do a day trip to Mito as well, oh. see the plum oh. blossoms. Oh, Mito. Yeah. yeah. So it's Ibaraki Prefecture. Yeah. I think so. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Do you know uh, about the uh, the local food there? Mito. No. Do you know about natto? Oh Maya. yeah. Yeah. I've heard of that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever tried? I haven't. Natto. No. Uh, Is that yeah. common in that area? Yeah, it's common in anywhere yeah. in Japan, but uh, somehow the Mito Natto is the very popular or oh, famous. Okay. I don't know why, but uh, maybe they started okay. uh, Natto there. But, okay. Okay. That's awesome. We'll have yeah. to give it a go. We'll yeah, yeah, we're looking forward to the day trips and stuff. And yeah. We'll do all the you know mm. normal touristy things around Tokyo as well. And, yeah. yeah, just enjoy it, mm. I think. yeah. Do you have an idea what the Natto is? Um, it's it's fermented soybean. Right, right, right. So, so many people don't like it, but many people love it. Okay, yeah. well, we'll, we'll try yeah. it and see what yeah. we think. <laughs> By itself, it's not, it's just a taste of, you know, the soybeans, but mm. put yeah. some salt or, I mean, the soy sauce and stuff. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, you need that, I think. Ooh. But anyway. We'll give it a go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please try. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for your thank time. You. It was no very problem. fun. Thank you for interviewing us. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>